We are living in a way that is not sustainable. I agree completely. The remedy to that does not seem to be... You're not giving an argument, though. There's no logic behind any statement you make. You just make declarations. You declare. It doesn't seem. You've got to do better than that. The point is, first you argue with people. Look, right now they're taxing cigarettes. Is there any evidence that it kills innocent people? No. Yet it's the most taxed substance on earth. Not alcohol, the thing that's proven to kill literally worldwide probably millions of people, right? Innocent people, little kids and stuff. That's taxed at 10% of the tax rate of cigarettes. Now you make sense of that. So obviously societies do stupid things. But the point is, is that reproduction is an imposition. There's lots of people on Earth right now, and they have no interest in having children. It would be a horror and a burden to have children. It would be complete corrosive acid on their life. It would ruin their life. Probably a few hundred million people, at least who understand that. And so you're going to say all those people don't have regular human genetics? That's your argument? Become smart enough to know that babies are created by sperm and egg, and that babies aren't created merely as an obligation of sex. You could be saying that it should be the law, that that, um, that, that should be the way that we regulate human births. <laughs> that is amazing to me. To think that a social engineering program can be written into law that will have the effect of forcing people to limit their reproduction. You won't even allow a law that limits their reproduction? So if somebody wants to have 18 kids on welfare, you wouldn't even limit their reproduction? And if their kids are living in squalor, you wouldn't even limit their reproduction? I mean, you don't even think somebody should have a thousand bucks in the bank before they're allowed to reproduce? They should just be allowed to do it because it's theirs. Their reproduction is theirs. They can impose a new life, new consciousness, all the risks. They could have some horrible genetic defect that has a 100% chance of being produced in their child and it'd be okay with you. You wouldn't put any limits on their reproduction so they could have 20 of these, these kids that were going to have this horrible disease and die before they're 22 or something and you wouldn't put a limit on their reproduction. If they were profoundly retarded, you wouldn't put a limit on their reproduction. Fuck, <laughs> then you're an idiot. I think the only way to do it is to get people to think about the horrible dilemma human beings find themselves in. That argument has been made, but it's not the subject, okay? Antinatalism is about this whole equation. If you don't create the need, there's no necessity. All the negative liabilities are eliminated and you can't be deprived of a positive. It's made out of need and you can only have need if you're alive. So if you're not alive, you can't need impossible. That's antinatalism. It's a pretty straightforward argument. Alright, anyway, till next time. And such.